Hello and welcome to another episode of Diversity, Inclusion, Compassion, and Kindness in Comics. I am back. I know it has been a while since I've done another, you know, a video. Um, but there is a good reason for that. That's because uh, I almost died during the filming of the last video I made. And that's not even a joke. That sounds like a joke. That's a horse statue over there. Well, that sounds like I'm joking, but uh, something really actually did happen during the filming of the last video. Um, actually, you know what I'm going to do for this video is instead of doing a straight... No, I normally never... Uh, I never edit my videos, but this one I'm going to edit in clips, whatever I can use from the, from the last uh, comic book review video. That's where everything went a little haywire for me personally in my personal life because what happened was I was doing a comic review of it was going to be Squirrel Girl which is uh, an Eisner award winning comic book which everybody loves Squirrel Girl and I thought it would be fun to uh, to have it go head to head against an actual Will Eisner comic book you know uh, The Spirit Number 1 from 1972 so I uh, I started to do the video, and you know, I, as as most of you know who watch my videos, I do live with my sister's family. I am out of work, and do not have a job, so she's been kind enough to uh, to let me stay with her. So I was doing the video in the basement, and her girl, she has two twins that are beautiful, but they were being very rambunctious, and they kept interrupting me. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Diversity, Inclusion, Compassion, Kindness, and Comics. Uh, today's episode is a special one. We're going to put Eisner Award-winning Squirrel Girl against a Will Eisner. Oh, we have more friends. Sasha is better than Oh, Sasha. Sasha. Yes, it is. Okay. Sasha is prettier. Sasha Malia, yeah. do you want to help me do a comic review? Yeah. No. Okay. It's All right, so then. Can you do me a favor? Can you go? Can you go upstairs and let yeah, uh, Uncle? Let's go. My shirt's still prettier. Yeah, okay, I gotta start over. I gotta start. Uh -huh. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Diversity, Inclusion, Compassion, Kindness, and Comics. In today's episode, we are doing the Eisner Award-winning Squirrel Girl against an actual Will Eisner comic from 1972. Spirit number one. And, girls, is that you? Yes, Uncle Cecil. Oh, God damn it. I, I asked you, please, nicely, to give me a little space. Do you want to help me do a review no, of the comic? No, I don't want to. Okay. I love so, I did something where I thought it would be fun to do the video in in the car. You know, my, you know Zach used to do his comic book review of videos from his car and he you know he would do with them in that like uh i don't know what he had like a 92 nissan Sentra or something so i thought it'd be like nice to like class it up i was gonna go do it and my sister's got a brand new big mercedes uh suv it would be like a a classy alternative to what zach usually does and uh so i went and it was a little chilly that day it wasn't cold like it is now it's all gray and cold but it was uh it was a little chillier than normal so I started the car, and I was running the car with the garage door shut, and it was the middle of the day, so I didn't even think about it. I didn't even occur to me that I was, you know, poisoning the whole house, but I was. So what happened was, uh, it took me about a half hour. I had to get extension cords. I wanted to bring the shredder in the car. I had the car window open with the extension cord. All the while, the car's running, you know, probably a half hour. So I start doing the video, and uh, most of it is gibberish. It, it, by then, the fumes were starting to get to me, and uh, I didn't really make much sense. I even started to uh, to shred the, the comic books that I did like. Normally, the loser gets shredded, but it was a very strange situation. Hello, and welcome to another episode of Diversity, Inclusion, co uh, Compassion, and Kindness in Comic Books. We're doing something special today. We are doing it from inside the car. 
my nieces were being a little bit loud and annoying, so I decided to do today's review. You know, I love Zach. It was he was the first one. I'll give him credit, but we're gonna do. Okay, I even brought the shredder in. We are going to do the Eisner Award winning. We are going to do the Eisner Award winning. A special bonus. I'm also going to do a review of this fantastic book, this Mar Miss Marvel. Oh my goodness. Number 16 was so good. So I'm going to do the Eisner. I'm going to do the Eisner and Why is there an Eisner Award anyway? You, um, is Will Eisner... He must have done something that this is the award. This, I don't... Look, look at this. What he says here. Oh, can I see? Eisner is like Michael Eisner. Did Will Eisner start Marvel and his son maybe is in Disney? Is that something? Eisner. Eisner? Eisner. And this is my favorite part because she goes, uh, bears, you know. I'm going to fight bears and I'm about to take you down with my bear hand. I, what happened to her face though? Did they ever explain that? I don't understand. What what happened to her face? And this character here looks like a racist cartoon. I can't even believe this is this is who they all love. This guy look at these I don't understand any of this. I don't the winner is This is a racist cartoon. This is not a why would you give an award for this? I don't understand. The winner, the winner is Squirrel Girl. She's the best. Everybody loves her. She's the winner. And she gets into the shredder. And she's the best one that there is. But then all of a sudden the... Uh, the alarm system at my sister's house goes off for carbon monoxide and my nieces come running out to the garage and they start screaming at me. They open the garage door and, you know, they let the fumes out and they're... <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, I think I did something really bad. <coughs> uh, uh, I knew it. <coughs> uh, <coughs> it's just, you know, I they they take me to the backyard. I started to actually get nauseous. Uh, I actually got nauseous on one of my good comic books too, which was uh, upsetting. Oh my God, I did some, I did something terrible. <coughs> I think I shredded all of my Squirrel Girl comics. I filled the house with smoke. <coughs> oh, dear God. Oh. I tell mommy I'm sorry. <coughs> You know, it was a huge scene, and you, and so Central Station monitoring called my sister, and they were like, "Oh, you know, we're getting a carbon monoxide," and she said, "It's fine, it's fine. We don't, you don't have to send anybody." And they said, "Oh, we have to. It's the law. You have to because you might be incapacitated from the fumes. You don't know what you're saying." So then it was very upsetting because there was like four fire trucks and an ambulance came, 
and I had to get administered oxygen and get all my vitals. They wanted to take me to the hospital, but I was uh, I was completely mortified, and uh, I did not want to go to the hospital. I was fine once they gave me the oxygen, but my sister was not fine. You know, she was extremely upset with me. You know, maybe I'll even clip in. She she got snippy with me. I have that on tape too. I told her I was going to play it because she got you got to hear her. You know what? I'm going to play it right now, and now I'm going to talk about it. You wanted to talk to me, Judy? Cecil, are you taping this? No, I'm not taping it. You know we love you, and you're welcome to stay here. But when you almost kill the family, I have to put my foot down. I don't have to take this shit from you, Judy. You know what? I am taping this, and now I'm going to let everybody in the world listen to it and hear what a fucking monster you are. Goodbye, Judy. Unbelievable. Okay, so you heard it. You heard how snippy she was, you know. I did, you know, I understand, you know, I accidentally almost, you know, murdered her family, but I understand it was an accident, and there was no reason for her to take that tone with me. And uh, I was, you know, she's, she's very judgmental, I think, that she would talk to me like that. But, um, and plus, I, you know, who is she to judge? She voted for Donald Trump. I mean, who's the bad one in this family, me or her? her okay I voted for Hillary I have nothing to uh, apologize for you know I'm sorry what happened I am a deeply apologetic I understand that I'm not the ideal house guest uh, I have not been looking for work as I promised but uh she was very upset so I was basically thrown out of the house and my father was kind enough from England to uh, to set me up in a hotel down in Miami uh, it was a beautiful hotel in South Beach, so I spent 10 days down there, which was nice. I got to see some old friends, but it also made me more depressed because it really just highlighted how, you know, if you want to feel fat, go to South Beach, and you want to feel really fat, gain 70 pounds because Trump won, and then go to South Beach. So basically, what I did when I was down there I was not frolicking in the surf at all. I was basically just taking advantage of the fabulous restaurants, so... I probably put on another 10 from the stress of uh, the stress of all of this, you know. And uh, it was it's been a rough. So I'm back in well, yeah, I'm back. I'm back in Roslyn, and I'm back to doing my videos, and I'm back to doing what uh, people really expect from me. They don't want to hear about my life story. They want to hear uh, my reviews of uh, comic books and my uh, my thoughts on seagulls and ducks. And what they should be doing together. Or if they should even be together. So, uh, please subscribe. And hit that notification button or whatever. And uh, I will be back with some new comic book death matches. You know, good comic book reviews where one gets the shredder. That's coming up soon. So, thank you for your patience with me. Bye-bye.